This is Naraka Blade Point, by far the most unique battle royale game I've ever played. It's actually focused on melee combat rather than guns, although you do also have ranged weapons, but in this game it's all about movement, abilities and like I said, melee combat. The combat is set up in this rock paper scissor balance, so it's as fair as can be, but obviously there are a lot of intricate tactics you can use to get the upper hand. Everything from normal attacks, to combos, to focus strikes which deal more damage, but can be countered with parry, so there's a lot of thought that goes into the combat which I really like. Oh, and did I mention yet that this game is also coming to console with it first launching on the Game Pass. A very important aspect of this game are the so-called Soul Jades. Think of them as perks. Let's look at three really important ones. For example, the Earthshaker Soul Jade is an upgrade for the Great Sword, which is a pretty high damage weapon on its own, but with this Soul Jade it becomes pretty disgusting and allows you to perform combos faster and also gives it blue focus for the whole move. So it's pretty powerful, but like I said earlier, because of the blue focus, it can also be countered. So you have to take that into account. Now you can try to avoid this counter, or any counter for that matter in this game, by baiting the enemy to do a parry move first, and after they're done, then you can perform the attack. But when it comes to the spinning attack, as soon as you hit that first combo, you can keep spamming it, and it will do massive damage. The spinning attack you see is especially handy for enemies that like to sidestep a lot. In this game you have two strike directions if you will. Vertical attacks and horizontal attacks. Like I said, horizontal attacks like the spinning move are great to hit enemies that are trying to move around a lot and vertical attacks are great for catching enemies that are jumping or attacking from above. The advanced heal soul jade focuses more on, you guessed it, the healing aspect of the game. Normally you are very immobile while healing, but this soul jade lets you heal in increments which speeds up the process and lets you be more agile. And if you got the group heal soul jade, you can do this for your whole team as well. Now obviously you have plenty more of soul jades to experiment with, with you know different combinations, for different abilities, for different characters, you name it. It is actually pretty crazy how extensive the gameplay is. The last example we're gonna take a look at is actually a mixture of three soul jades combined. Keep in mind you have room for multiple soul jades or these perks on every character. Take the rave roll for instance. This is a soul jade that increases the effectiveness of dodging or the dodge roll. Dodging in this game is extremely important as it will often help you get out of sticky situations but it does come at a price. It can deplete your energy level or stamina pretty quickly. So the wave roll soul jade is actually really helpful in this case. What it does is it makes the secondary dodge roll cost no energy at all. So if you have the right rhythm you can keep on dodging and it will make you extremely hard to hit. Now to make this move even more powerful you can actually combine it with the phantom stab soul jade. Phantom Stab makes sure that the enemy can lock onto you while attacking. And this effect happens after every single dodge roll. Normally you have a slight lock-on effect when performing attacks. So without this lock-on it becomes a bit more difficult to hit your target. And like I said earlier this will happen after every single dodge roll which you can pretty much do forever. So this is an insanely good combination. And finally to put the icing on the cake you can go one step further and add a third soul jade to the mix called Storm Strike. What this one does is after every dodge roll you perform, an actual lightning strike will hit the ground on your last position and it will do damage to your enemy. So just take a look at the background footage here. With this combination, you can basically dodge roll the entire time, be extremely hard to hit and in the meantime deal actual damage to the enemy while you're just rolling around the place. It's actually pretty crazy. Now this is just an example. You have a lot of different soul jades you can mix and match with a ton of different abilities, with a ton of different weapons for a lot of different characters. And speaking of characters, Naraka Bloodpoint has amazing amazing looking characters like this one which is my favorite for some reason and the newest hero Takeda. They each have their own unique abilities and they are also fully customizable from incredible cosmetics to some of the most in-depth facial customization options I've ever seen in the game. Um. I've watched Moist Critical's video on the Rocket Blood Point the other day and I legit couldn't stop laughing when they were busy making those abominations. On default, these characters look very normal obviously, but you can create whatever you want with this. It's absolutely insane. So if you want to check out the game for yourself, be sure to click the link in the description. There's absolutely no pay to win as far as I know and people genuinely seem to love this game. So check it out with the link down in the description below. And a big thanks to the Rocket Blade Point for sponsoring this video. Now let's see if we can close this video 
video with a win. And keep in mind, I'm still a noob, so if you have tips for me, let me know in the comments. Let us bring darkness to our enemies. I think I'm gonna go with this one because she seems to have, you know, a nice personality. So I'm gonna go with this one. This game looks pretty awesome though, look at this. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is my first enemy, I'm so scared! <laughs> okay, here we go. Attack our enemies, or I shall make you regret it. Come back here, baby. Let's go. No, 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 no. Don't run away from me. Come on. I almost won. I almost won. Oh, my first kill. My first kill. I don't know if that was a bot because it did really play like a noob. But then again, I'm a noob as well. So this is, I'm going to count this as my first official win. 48 alive. I killed one of them. Imagine if we can win this. There's no way. This is our very first game pretty much. So there's no way we're going to win. But we can always try. We do have a gun or some sort of like ranged weapon. So we're going to use that in a minute. I hear somebody. There he is. Okay. First hit. Second hit. Oh my goodness, you got absolutely destroyed! <laughs> oh, my second kill! Awesome! Guys, so far so good. We're doing... We're doing not too bad. We're doing not too bad. Okay, I need to find somebody because... I'm, I want blood. Oh, there he is. I'm scared when I see an enemy like that because it seems like they know what they're doing. Look at that! They know what they're doing! And they're fast! I'm playing on controller, by the way, just in case you guys didn't know. That's definitely an... No! Did I kill him? No, not yet. Come on! There we go. Oh, we got him. Oh, that took a little while. <laughs> Whoa. Look at the physics of this game, amazing. <laughs> this game looks cool, I mean look at the color palette. It looks freaking gorgeous. Oh, there are people right there. Look at this, look at this. Oh, I missed! No, I hit! I hit again! I hit again! Oh, look how much damage I did! That's crazy! I can hit them both! I can hit them both! I can kill them both! Oh, they're locked! I, I have them stuck! I got them both! I got them both! Oh, they're stuck! They were stuck and I got them both! You saw that attack? That's the, So that's the main attack. Uh, on controller it's um, square plus X and if you do that, you get a massive attack. What the hell is this? Buy. Okay, so you can buy something here. I'm gonna buy this. So now I have better armor. Nice. So that's like the buy station. Okay, I, I kind of understand it now. I hear somebody. There he is. Okay, he's gonna kill me. Come back here, baby. Oh, why do they go away? Yeah, you didn't expect that, did you? Oh, I countered him! I parried him, you saw that? I saw you had a blue focus thing. And now I, ca I parried him. So all he has, he uh, lost his... He's, he's dead, he's dead. Nope, oh no, don't ruin it. Oh yeah, he's dead, he's dead. There we go, I got six kills now. So, look, I will explain. I parried him when he had the blue focus attack, so you need to keep an eye on that, and you need to parry it. And when you parry it successfully, they actually drop their weapon, so they need to swap to another weapon. And some people don't know how to do that, or it's just in the, in the midst of the battle, so they don't know how. And they become pretty, I wouldn't say defenseless. Okay, here is somebody's coming. Is he coming upstairs? I'm in the zone, so I'm should, I should be good. There are six people alive. I can third party them, and I think I'm gonna do that actually because I have my uh, major ability back. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. You ready? Let's go. Oh. Oh, damn. I don't know what move that was. Are 
I win, I win, I win, I win! There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, look at those three. You see those three people? Those are the last three people. Let's see if we can third party them. If I can actually win this, these people seem pretty bad. They are, they are like me. Okay, dead. That's really good. Now one more. Alive two. This is the last one. I can win this. I can win this. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't win this. Come on, heal, heal. Lovely. As if freshly hammered and wrought. <sighs> High ground. What I would do for a spool. I got it! I got it! I think I won! With nine kills! I did oh I won my first game! Oh I don't believe it! These people, so I don't think most of them were bots, maybe maybe they were, but they played like real people. And I think they were just as bad as me, but I won! <laughs> Holy crap, look at that! Nine kills! Oh, this character. This is my new favorite character for obvious reasons. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe. You can check out the game with the link down below. And don't forget, it's also available on Game Pass. So be sure to try it out. And with that being said, I see you guys next time. <laughs>